An upstate family is having the adventure of a lifetime. The Curran family is writing, producing, and starring in their own television show, and the show is called Scaly Adventures. The producer, Rick Curran, and his son, Pierce, join me in the studio, and we're going to find out why they call it Scaly. <laughs> hey, you guys. Thanks for coming on the show today. Thank you. Thank you. It's a privilege to be here today. So what is the Scaly Adventures TV show? Pierce? Scaly Adventures is a uh, kid-friendly animal and adventure TV show where uh, every week we'll go out and we'll profile somebody who works in the career field of animals, does something really cool with them, and we'll showcase a couple of unique animals that we find along the way. Exactly. And it's actually even more than that. My wife and I um, looked around at one point and said, you know, there's really nothing for kids Pierce's age that we like. And so mm -hmm. inside of that, what Pierce said is moral messages and things, uh, uh, anti-bullying, anti-drug. Uh, we filmed with uh, police canine units and we filmed with a lot of other career fields as well. And our hope is to be able to show kids positive messaging and show them, hey, there's something for everybody out there in the world mm -hmm. um, that you can do and enjoy. And the show is a 30-minute show, is that yes, correct? Yes, ma'am, that's correct. And it can be seen on, on a bunch of different places, but you can find out at scalyadventures.com. Yes, ma'am, that's way. correct. If you go to scalyadventures.com, you'll be able to find the show on our listing there. Uh, the biggest network that carries us is the Daystar Network, and mm -hmm. if you just type it in on your DVR at home, it'll pop up. We have 34 okay. episodes in rotation right now, and we're gearing up for season four. Nice. So how do you pick your topics? Honestly, it's kind of a little bit of everything. Um, all three of us will contribute to the show, and my wife is actually here with us today. She's the um, off-camera animal wrangler for us today. Um, but all three of us kind of sit down and have a dream sheet. What do we want to film, and, and what would we like to profile? Um, like, for example, I've come forward and said, I'd love to film uh, with a police canine unit. So we actually filmed with two police canine units, mm -hmm. one in Douglasville, Georgia, and one in Marietta, and actually got to go out on drug bust with them and train with their SWAT yes. team. Pierce, you had one that you enjoyed going out yes, with. Yes, I had, a, honestly, a lot that I enjoyed going out with, but um, I especially loved the fishing episodes. We would do a catch and release, and we got to do that. Um, actually, it was the first episode we did, right? That's correct. Yeah, That's yeah, correct. we went out shark fishing, and that was one of the fun ones for me. And I know Tanya had said, hey, I'd really love to film at a veterinary school. So mm -hmm. we got to spend three days filming with um, veterinary students up at the uh, University of Tennessee's veterinary school. And we learned a lot about that career field. And our hope was to be able to come back, put that in the episode, and encourage kids who want to be veterinarians that this is a great career field, but you got to work hard to get there. <laughs> okay, we don't usually sit here with reptiles in our hands. So let's <laughs> let's tell the viewers who we have right here. Absolutely. Well, in your hands is Fiona. And Pierce, would you like to tell her a little bit about Fiona is a bearded dragon that is found in Australia. And she's actually really cool because uh, these bearded dragons, they're known for their ability. They'll, they have two bones in their jaws. And so mm -hmm. when they get upset or they're feeling territorial, what they'll do is they'll take those bones and they'll push them out forward and their, their beard will turn black because Come they on. can control the blood mm -hmm. that goes through there. Okay. And then they will start to bob really violently with their head and that's to show that they're mad or upset and okay. then they also can puff out their sides mm -hmm. so that they get really flat and that's either to be territorial or to also catch the sun for when they're basking yeah okay. and the interesting thing about all the animals that we have here is they're all very geographically uh, diverse you've got an iguana here on the floor a green iguana mm -hmm. that's very similar <laughs> yeah. to our upstate anoles in fact in it the right like statue it's yeah he's <laughs> and yet they're very very intelligent but because there's no plants in here mm -hmm. he's not interested so he's like there's no food so I'll just take a nap but they're very <laughs> very similar to the green and Oles that you see running around here. In mm -hmm. fact, when he gets his sun on, he will actually start to turn a nice shade of orange. Um, but he's South American. Up here we have Peaches, who is a uh, actually a nine-foot boa constrictor. Peaches. Nice. This is not how they look in the wild, but this is no. how Peaches oh came to gosh. us, and so she's kind of an albino color. Mm -hmm. We have another South American animal up here. This is Goliath, <laughs> which is Pierce's favorite pet. And this that I'm holding here is Ginger, and she is a baby Burmese python. When she gets to her full length, she will easily top over 15 feet. She's one of the six largest snake species in the world. This is as well. I think it's a neat story how you guys got started because um, a lot of people have big dreams to do neat things with their lives and you went ahead and did it. And you starting at the age of 12, I guess, started hosting the show, Scaly Adventures. Tell me about this and how it got started. Well, honestly, we went to a show one time and mm -hmm. Pierce looked up and the guy that was presenting the show, Pierce said, you know, that's really interesting. I like snakes. I'll bet I could do that. And I said, okay, well, we'll go home. So we made a little website and making a long story very short, over a course of time, somebody said, you guys should film, um, you know, a, a pilot. Because at the time, we were putting little videos on the Internet, just two, three-minute little informational kind of shows. 
And somebody said, you should put together a, little, um, a pilot. And I said, yeah, because I'm a trained salesman, so I really know anything about TV. But we went ahead and did it. We went out in the swamp and we filmed. And then we filmed a second half with a couple of our friends here uh, at a place called Safe Haven. And mm -hmm. so we put together a show, which ironically looks nothing like the show does now. But through that, we decided to create a show showing a family going out on cool adventures and learning things and then bringing that back to the viewers. And what did you think about that? I thought... I kind of just dived into it, and all of a sudden, um, <laughs> one day I just found a little uh, snake in the yard, and then the next day, here I am. It yeah. was, it's been very fast, honestly. Um, it's been very interesting to see how we've evolved through this, um, getting more things as we go, and each season, learning more and getting more animals and getting better as we do it. Yeah. So what pet did you start with? I started out my first uh, reptile when I was eight. It was a little uh, red-bellied brown snake. You would think it's nothing more than a worm with eyes. Um, yeah. <laughs> and my dad found that in the yard when he was out mowing, and he just saw me express an extreme interest in these animals, and that's kind of how we got started. But yeah, uh, little Chester, I had him for a year, which is a good six months over their life expectancy. And you know, that's really the neat thing about it is Tanya and Pierce and I, when we're at a show, the thing we tell kids is this, when you, you'll know that thing in your life when you find it, that one thing that is yours, whether it's playing guitar or dance or reptiles or production, whatever it is. And we always tell parents, when you see that spark, Mm -hmm. Feed it. Mm -hmm. Feed it into a wildfire and you're going to find that your kids suddenly school makes sense to them, life makes sense to them, and they become passionate about it. But when you're sitting in school and you don't know what you want to be in life, it makes learning all those things a lot more difficult. Pierce knows that in order for him to be the world's best herpetologist and TV host, he has to study the school aspects that will help him be the best he can be. That's right. That's right. Um, so where, what's next for Scaly Adventures? I mean, Season four. Always looking for new animals, <laughs> new adventures to go on? Well, we got about 40 at home, so right now we kind of put a moratorium on any more animals. <laughs> These are our show animals that we do schools. But we're actually gearing up for season four. We got some really cool things coming up, including filming with another police department. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got a couple other things as well we're hoping to get. But we're still in that planning stage yes. yet. But mm -hmm. definitely going to have a season four. And you can go on the website to find the places that air this. Can you go on there and get links to maybe YouTube? Are you guys on YouTube? Yes, ma'am. We have over 200 videos on YouTube that you can see. Eventually, we're going to make the show available on Vimeo for purchase. But also, you can go to our Facebook page, Scaly Adventures, and you can go to our YouTube page. Everything goes back to at Scaly Adventures and follow us all over the place. All right. Well, thank you both for being here, Rick and Pierce. Thank you thank very you, much. Thank you, ma'am. We appreciate being here. And thank you for watching this morning. I'm Judy Johnson. Have a great week.